Hello and welcome to Tina's Joyful Kitchen. Tina McDermott here. And on today's show, we are going to make a sunny fruit salad because any time of the year is a perfect time of the year to eat fruit salad. Even though it's September, it's still summer, it's still summer. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna cut up a pineapple. How do you know when a pineapple is ready to be cut open? Ooh, the leaves on the top come out easy. Oh, they're all coming out easy. Look at that. This is ready. You can also look at it, smell it. You should smell pineapple. I smell pineapple. So I'm going to get one of my heavier duty chef knives. And I like the chef knives that has the little grooves. It helps that when you slice the, the food doesn't stick to the knife. It releases the food a little easier. So up on my tippy toes as usual, give that back to mother earth. And I'm going to just remove the ends. And what do we do with round things? We make them flat. It's flat now, right? And now I'm going to remove the peel, beveling around. There we go. Yes, I'm short. I got to get up on my tippy toes a lot. There we go. Clean your workstation. And there's some pieces that I missed, so I'm just going to go back and knock those off. There's a piece there that looks brownish. We're going to knock that off. And we're good. Let me get clean your station. Clean your hands. What do we do? We make this flat. So we're going to cut it in half again, make it flat and quarter it. This piece in the middle is a little stringy and it's hard. It gets stuck in your teeth. The core of the, the, the pineapple is full of bromelain. Very good anti-inflammatory. Do not throw this away. It might be difficult to chew and you don't like it, so don't throw it into your salad, but freeze them and throw them into your smoothies eat them. Do not throw this piece away. Okay. Eat them. Eat the core of the pineapple. If you get anything from me today, what is it? Eat the core of the pineapple. Good for you. Okay. I'll just put those aside for now. Hmm. Okay. And let's finish cutting up our pineapple. Nice chunks. Take, remember this hand's always in a claw because we don't want to go through those fingers, right? Always keep those fingers protected. What is summer without a fruit salad? In this one, we're going to make this honey lime dressing that is really, really, really yummy. Okay, here we go. Okay, I'm going to grab our bowl. And now let's get all of our fruit into our bowl. I like big chunks. I don't have to have everything the perfect size. Throw it all in there. You can put whatever fruit you want in your fruit salad, whatever fruit you want. I'm today I'm going to do the pineapple. Here's some mango. Put some, put the mango in there, but let's cut this mango. My lovely sister peeled it for me and I'm going to cut a mango for you. Okay. You're going to get the side that's oblong and did I do this wrong? Nope. Basically you're cutting along the seed. My sister and I were walking in New York city. If you've never walked the Brooklyn bridge. It's something to walk. Why am I mentioning the Brooklyn bridge, Brooklyn bridge? As we're starting to cross over the Brooklyn Bridge, there's a woman standing there with a whole bunch of mangoes, peeling them and giving them to people, selling them, of course, right? And you pay, I think, four bucks and you get all these beautiful mango slices. It took her less than a minute to peel and slice a mango. And it was delightful. It was absolutely delightful. You can actually eat the skin of a mango. It's a little on the floral, floral, floral side. 
I used to do that until I got very sick when I was in Cancun because I washed it. You're not supposed to eat, drink the water. Anyhow, I learned that the hard way. I learned that very much the hard way. Okay, let's clear off our cutting board here. And let's put other fruit. What other fruit do we want in our fruit salad? I'm gonna finish off the mango. I have some beautiful blueberries we're gonna put in there. I have some cantaloupe we're gonna put in there. Throw some cantaloupe in there. You can put as much or as little as you want, okay? These are cotton candy grapes. If you find them in the store, you buy them and you eat them, they're delicious. This is nature's candy. You do not need to buy candy at the, at, like wrapped candy. You can just buy nature's candy. Cotton candy grapes. I don't know, mother nature, you're wonderful. We have some strawberries, throw some strawberries in there. Add some oranges, why not? Whatever fruit you have, whatever fruit's in season at the time, throw it in there. The orange makes a, a really pretty color, okay? Bananas, you can put bananas in. If you're gonna be eating it today, put the bananas in. If you're gonna be eating it in like tomorrow, don't put the bananas in right before you're about to eat it. So now let's make a dressing. We're gonna make a lime honey dressing. And what do we got going on? Two tablespoons lime juice in the mix. Poppy seeds. I even just like to say poppy seeds. Poppy seeds, I like them. And we're gonna do honey. Now, people who are diabetic or pre-diabetic, you need to be really careful about sugar and elevating your blood sugar levels. Recently, I discovered, A, my, my blood sugar is high, but I also discovered this company called Chug Zero and they have a keto honey. Look, I don't do keto diets. I don't do paleo. I don't do any of them. Okay. I don't do a D I E capital, capital D capital I capital E with a small T. I don't do those. We do live it's right. But this particular honey is not really honey. It's flavored with, uh, it, it's a flavored honey and it's made with monk fruit. So the sweetener is monk fruit and it will not elevate your blood sugar levels. I love it. When I tell you I love it, I love it. So you're gonna get the zest of one lime or two limes, whatever you feel like putting in there. I did a lime, half a lime. Uh, my sister zested two limes. Look at a beautiful job she did at zesting. Uh, the zest is going to pop the flavor of this fruit salad more than anything you've ever had, okay? It's really easy to zest. Of course, you have a little micro blade, micro plane, and you just lightly zest the outside of the lime and turn and scrape, turn and scrape, turn and scrape. It's that easy. Don't, you don't want to do too much of the white stuff. It's called the pith. You don't want to do too much of that. You want the green stuff on the outside. It's okay if you get more pith, but you don't need it. Okay. So I just wanted to show you a little bit about zesting because it's zestful to zest. We're going to mix all that up. The, you can use lemon juice if you want. If you don't have limes, you could use lemons and lemon zest. Uh, but the lemon lime helps to preserve the fruit. And if you end up with a huge bowl of fruit like I have, you might want to double your dressing recipe. You might want to. You don't have to, though. You can keep it just as it is. Okay? And here we go. We're just going to mix this up. Yeah, the line keeps the fruit from going brown. Not the bananas, though. That's why I say put the bananas in last. How beautiful this is. Fruit is wonderful after a meal. It literally helps you to digest your food. And in an Italian household, after dinner, my mom, my dad, my aunt, my uncle, no matter where I go in Italy, or even at home in New Jersey where my parents are, they're always peeling a piece of fruit after dinner. It is full of enzymes, and the enzymes are what help you digest your food. Look how beautiful this is. Ah, oh, this is delightful, absolutely delightful. So let's, yeah, and that dressing was perfect, but if you want more, you can put more if you want. Look how beautiful this is, a bowl of fresh fruit. Who doesn't want this on a beautiful summer day? Let me clean this off. 
And there we have it. And there we have it. Fruit salad with lime honey dressing. Enjoy.